people of the internet, this is Anna Raconteur. Forgive the very awkward camera angle. I'm home alone and I decided to do this. So I've got a property on my bookshelf right now. Uh, just a bit of news for you to catch you up on things. So first bit of mixed news. I'm slowly taking books out of the Kindle Unlimited system and I'm doing it because we're not getting very transparent costs, I guess you could say. Like we have no idea how much we're actually making per page every month in Kindle Unlimited. And we kept thinking that it was just maybe us because, you know, Katie and I are so good at math, but it's not us. We've had other people calculate this and it's not us. So it's kind of costing me money at the moment and it's a very frustrating feeling. We are slowly pulling all the books out. This is going to take basically until April to pull everything out. But as we're pulling things out, we're actually putting them into different bookstores. So if I have iBook people out there, people who prefer to buy their books off of Google Play, um, Kobo, all of them, we are putting books into those systems. That said, I actually have six of them already in the systems. So John 10, Magus, Advent, Balancer, Magic and the Shinigami Detective, and Charms and Death and Explosions, they are all in other bookstores as well. So if you have, you know, an iBook, if you have a Nook, what have you, feel free. They're not available in those other systems. We are still, of course, working on the Audible books. It's kind of slow going just because our narrators are all college students, very, very talented college students. And they're very gung-ho on the projects and they love to come in and record. They're just college students and they don't have a lot of time. So it's been an interesting juggling schedules getting people in. That said, I believe the first audiobook that we'll have done next is probably going to be Magic and the Shinigami Detective. We're getting really close to having all that recorded. Um, that said, it's going to take a while for Katie to splice everything together and edit it and, and put it all together into, you know, an actual audiobook. But we're making progress. It's, it's happening. Uh, we are... Also, still on schedule for Artifactor Book 5. No, I don't have a title for that yet. Titles will come. Uh, I got a little bit stuck at one point. Uh, my editor, actually Del Saber is actually my editor on this one. And my father had to get me unstuck because I had mechanical plot issues that I had to work out. But we're back on schedule. Uh, we should have that one out late April, early May-ish, somewhere in that time region. Um, and what I had scheduled on, you know, for after Artifactor 5 was going to be the next Case Files book. It might still be. Uh, I still would really like to, to do another book in that series. I'm just having a really hard time suppressing the new series. Yes, you heard me correctly. There will be a new series. It's, going to be at least four books. Um, Katie and I have been talking about this thing for months and it's slowly building my head. I've been writing down pieces of it as it's coming to me. We are trying to hold it off for like later part of summer, early part of fall of this year before we actually start into the series. Cause I would like to do it in like one shot if at all possible, if my brain will cooperate and let me do that. But it's getting really hard to suppress the, the main character. She's a talker. She's really much, very much a talker. We will see it, which one comes first, the chicken or the egg. Or in this case, uh, Case Falls 3 or the Imagineer series. We'll see. Uh, that is basically the news I wanted to update you on now. Uh, for those of you who have not heard about my newsletter, please sign up for it. Uh, not only will I give you a sneak peek before the book is released, usually first two or three pages. Uh, I also give you behind the scenes. Anything that I, I had to do research on or just funny, interesting things that I discovered while writing. Um, I have some really quirky things I have to Google. It's weird the things that I have to Google. So I give you insight into the story you know, before we actually launch the book. And it's not always information that I put everywhere else. Um, sometimes it's very exclusive to just the newsletter. Um, but of course we also give you a notification through the newsletter when the book is out. 
So if you're not always good about following me on Facebook, or if you just missed your timing, the newsletter will probably be the best alert that you have that latest book is out. I have the next book out is Artifactor, and there's quite a few of you who are screaming for Artifactor. So, you know, win win situation, right? Do not worry. Uh, it really will be Artifactor next, despite the fact that the Imagineer series is chomping up the bits to be released. I am 20,000, 22,000, 22,000 words into the draft at the moment, and it's flowing pretty well. So, um, those fans that had plans to come after me and do mean things until I sat down and actually wrote the book, you're good. I'm working on it. We're okay. Uh, I will release probably title next. Uh, Katie swears up and down that she has an idea of what to do for the cover. I have no idea what her idea is for the, to do for the cover. But we'll be releasing more information about it as well as we get there. Okay, I think that's it. I think that I've covered everything. If you have questions, comments, concerns, uh, squeeze, feel free to share in the comments below. Have a good night.